Mike Gadding is a bit of an underrated captain and he certainly doesn't get the raps that I think he should because I thought he was a very good captain. I thought he did a terrific job in 86-87 when he uh, helped England retain the Ashes. Um, and, and there were a number of reasons why I thought that he was a good captain. The first thing, he was in charge. He had a couple of pretty strong-minded uh, players in his team, guys who had previously been captain of England. He had uh, David Gower and he had Ian Botham. But he was very strong-minded, particularly with Botham. Um, Botham is the sort of bowler who wanted, he wanted, six, he needed 16 fielders, Botham, because he wanted, everywhere they hit the ball, he wanted a fielder. And so if as a captain you started putting fieldsmen where he wanted them, what you were doing in essence was following the ball. And if you're following the ball as a captain, you're in big trouble. But Gatting, one of the smart things that Gatting did, he, when both of them started waving his arms around to move fielders, uh, or, or asking to move fielders, Gatting just turned his back on him and put the field where, exactly where he wanted them. So he, he very quickly let the, the, the senior players in the team know who was running the team. And really, only one person can run a cricket team. So that was one of the smart things that uh, Mike Gatting did. The other thing that stands out in my mind was after uh, England had uh, retained the Ashes, they'd won the series, and they were playing in the Sydney Test match and they were in a bit of trouble on the last day. The ball was spinning a lot. Peter Sleep, the leg spinner, got a few wickets and England were in trouble. I think they were chased. They needed about 340 for victory or something like that. And they were in big trouble. Gatting was batting and Border had the fieldsman all around the bat and he suddenly launched a counter-attack as a batsman, uh, Mike Gatting. And he, he hit a few fours. And what that did, it put the thought in Border's mind that, hello, these guys, perhaps they haven't given up trying to chase the runs. Perhaps they're not just playing for a draw. Perhaps they're still trying to win this game. And, and so it put that doubt in Border's mind. You know, do I pull my fielders back or do I keep them up there? And eventually Border had to pull back a bit. And so that obviously achieved two things. It, it put this doubt in Border's mind. But it also made batting a little easier, not just for Gatting, but for the guy down the other end as well. So it was a marvellous ploy. In the end, it, it didn't quite pay off. I think Gatting was caught and bowled for 96 uh, by Steve Waugh and England lost the match. But I thought that, that sort of signified um, uh, Gatting's captaincy because he was not only a good captain, but he was a brave captain. Because it, it does take um, uh, pretty big Niagara's to, uh, to launch a counter-attack when you're in trouble. Not, not too many captains will be prepared to do that, and Mike Gatting was. Gatting was a good captain.